What's going on, everyone? This is Mitch. Hope you all had a great start to your week, a great Monday. First off, I just want to say thank you all um, for 4,000 subscribers. I hit it overnight last night, and, uh, you know, it was a goal for me personally before the end of the month. And, you know, I hit it thanks to all you guys sharing the videos and just um, checking out my videos and my content and supporting what I do, supporting my passion, which is the weather. Um, to me, you know, I don't get paid to be a meteorologist or anything, but this is a way for me to express what I love to others who um, are interested in listening. So thank you all for the amazing support. And uh, let's just get going here. So in this video, we're going to break down, continue to break down what looks to be some activity really starting to show up, especially if as we get into the tail end of this coming weekend into early next week. I really think we're going to have some tropical development, guys, in the, into the Gulf of Mexico next week. And... Um, and what happens after that is a big question mark, um, but I really think there is going to be something that develops. Um, that's just a gut feeling that I, I got here. But before we get going, if you guys haven't subscribed, definitely consider doing that. I try to upload every single day, and it's starting to get deeper into hurricane season. And uh, we're obviously starting to see more and more things pop up on the mid to long range models that reflects that. So definitely subscribe, like the video, hit the notification bell. When you like the video, it helps the video to get higher out there in the al algorithm. So um, it helps my video to be um, kind of way up there in the search bar. So uh, thank you all for doing that. Thank you all for the amazing support for real. It's been a, it's been a blast so far. Um, so let's check it out. National Hurricane Center. Let's try not to say season 100 times in this video. National Hurricane Center um, has upped it up to a 30% chance of uh, cyclone formation in the next five days. So what that means is with sometime in the next five days or inside five days, we can have a tropical depression develop. This has moved up 10% from the 20% chance this time yesterday. So what they're really thinking this is going to do without reading this is probably gonna really, it's probably really small on your screen is this little piece of energy right here has a chance to kind of, uh, kind of just, go over the Central America and go more of a northwest direction over Central, more over land, Central America. And it's just going to be a big area of a disturbance, known as a CAG, a CAG. And basically that is just a, a lot of, uh, it could be like a spin up. It could be a lot of um, energy as far as rain and storms and just a huge area of rain and storms and just uh, disturbances that sometimes can have a spin to it. And sometimes when that gets over warm waters of the Eastern Pacific, on this side of Central America or the Western Caribbean or the Southern Gulf of Mexico, this has a chance if there's favorable conditions in place like warm uh, sea surface temperatures, this has a chance to develop into something. So this is what we're watching. So if you're in the Gulf of Mexico, and I've had a, somebody ask about Jamaica multiple times. Honestly, I think if you're in Jamaica, I think the biggest risk here is just some showers and storm, stormy conditions and maybe some gusty winds. I don't think this thing's going to develop right here. I think this thing is going to have a chance to really get going to the Gulf of Mexico. So we're going to run through the Euro, we're going to run through the GFS, and uh, we're going to run through the Canadian model. For those who know, watch my videos, they know I like to run through all the major models, and especially we're obviously not in short range models or anything like that. It would be a totally different story. So we're going to look at what each operational, the latest operational runs are showing, look at some ensembles, and really break this down on what this shows. So I want you to watch this area right here, and this is obviously getting into tomorrow. As I go through in time, you're going to notice big area, big blob of green, and basically that is just a bunch of energy right here over Central America. Uh, begins to kind of shift northwest, more over Central America, and it's going to come out right here. So we're getting into we're getting into Wednesday, we're getting into Thursday. Notice there's actually a little spin to this too. Um, we're getting into let's see, we're getting into Friday, getting into the weekend. You notice it's starting to move more northwest, and we're getting into the end of the weekend. At this point, you have a big mess right here. Um, just a lot of activity over Central America. You got activity in the eastern, eastern Pacific, and in the uh, Western Caribbean. But as as we're getting going here in time into the early next week, this finally area of disturbance makes it over the southern Gulf of Mexico. And it develops into a full-blown tropical storm as it begins to move north. And, at, you know, at this rate, it's strengthening at 240 hours out. But notice, this is all the way next Wednesday and Thursday. It's really far out. But the consistency is there in mid to long range, if that even warrants any respect. 
that there is going to be something in this area. We, I've, I've made this is my third video I made on this, and every video has showed something in this area developing after this energy gets over warmer waters. Um, this is probably one of the more impressive European models so far, model runs from 12Z today, but it's just one run, just one run. We look at um, a little bit closer look of this, and this is this T, um, TM wind speed, so this is basically just surface wind speeds. It's not wind gusts, it's just wind speeds, so just consistent wind speeds. Notice this thing gets over land, uh, over water off after it gets off of land. This instantly starts to develop as you... It's pretty warm right here in the Gulf, southern Gulf of Mexico. This is probably one of the warmer areas. But as soon as it gets over those waters, it strengthens. And it doesn't take a rocket science to, uh, scientist to know what this looks like. It definitely looks like a tropical storm. And I'll tell you what, it, I don't know for sure, but there's a potential that this could be a pretty big tropical storm. Um, I, I really, I mean, it could be a sloppy one. I'm speaking as if it was to develop. GFS. <laughs> GFS is just weird right now. It's really, you're going through here, you're getting into, this is getting all the way up until next week. Notice it's popping off energy from the CAG and in the Eastern Pacific, developing something. But notice right here in this area, it pops off this energy. And here's the low pressure. And uh, you got a depression that's probably strengthened into a storm as you get into next Thursday. It's so far out, it just doesn't matter. What, what, what we're really trying to consistently get it's some kind of development showing up consistently in the sh in, in a shorter range. GFS, the last three days, I'd say, has not really, how can you put it, has not really gotten closer in the time frame. It's kind of stayed in that 222 to 260 hour range, which is between 8 or 9, 10, 11, 12 days. So it's, it's weird. It's weird right now. At the same time, you have a cold front draping down that might bring us a shot of cooler air in the eastern u.s we'll talk about that as it looks like it as it becomes more of a concrete solution but any energy on this tail end of this cold front can merge with some tropical energy in the gulf of mexico there's a lot going on right here there really is um you get going here in time there's another spin up you got two spin ups right here at the same time but it's 270 hours out so it really doesn't matter Canadian model getting going through in time again watch this area right here the Canadian model pops it off same area as the European model but you know it just it doesn't move much it gets it over land um, by early over water about early next week but it just kind of meanders in the same spot and eventually it starts going it looks like as high pressure shifts a little bit east over the lower 48 and it gets going, but you notice if I back it up to this run, this is the Canadian prior to this. So it had the storm already kind of, it's basically kind of like the GFS. It's not really getting any closer into time frame, but it's always been next week. We're just talking about what could potentially happen next week and watching this evolve each day. Um, it's always been a next week thing. Um, holy cow, it did it again. Every time I try to show you guys this, it just does not work for me. Um, chances of tropical depression <laughs> continues to be about the same. Uh, 30 to 40% chance over southern areas of uh, the Gulf of Mexico. I'm going to get this where I actually can show it to you guys. It's it's pretty annoying. Every, every time I start this video, my, I lose my panels up here. And I'm not able to move this into forward speed. But you notice there's an area in between the 48 to 6, 96 hour range. Um, for tropical depression development here and uh, it's almost highlighted in the same areas as uh, the National Hurricane uh, Center right here so it's kind of following suit with that um, so we'll continue to watch this it's the SpaghettiOs off the EPS ensembles um, we're getting going here in time and we're getting about 240 hours out so that's about midway next week and notice all the circles right here symbolizing low potential low pressure placements into the Gulf of Mexico it's very active but again it's pretty far out Quick look at sea surface temperatures. It's actually cooled down off the coast of Louisiana because we just keep getting consistent rains. But uh, it is warming up in the southern Gulf of Mexico and the uh, western Caribbean, that's for sure. So um, that's all I got, guys. You know, not much of an update, but there still con continues to be consistency in the mid to long range for tropical development um, that could potentially affect the lower 48 way on down the road as we get into mid-month. Like I said, this has always been a mid-month thing. I mentioned it almost a week ago that, you know, I really thought that around mid-June we could be talking about 
some tropical activity. It's still on board. In fact, um, the confidence has increased a little bit. So we're still talking about it. Um, and it's showing up on the models more than ever. So we're going to continue to try to figure out what this is going to do. Thank you all for tuning in and y'all have a blessed night.